Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics. Today, I wanted to talk about the nitrogen cycle and specifically in this episode, talk about ammonia and what to do if you have an ammonia spike in your fish tank. So stay tuned. So first thing, let's talk a little bit about how ammonia winds up in your fish tank. Usually what happens if you establish a brand new fish tank, you're going to add fish and other organisms, aquatic organisms to that tank. And as part of their waste, they're going to produce ammonia that's primarily secreted through the gills. When that happens, the ammonia can build up in the fish tank. Now, if this is a new fish tank, there aren't beneficial bacteria in that tank usually. And so the ammonia will continue to build until it can do damage. So the damage that's going to be caused is the ammonia is going to eventually damage the gills of the fish. You'll notice this when fish start to go more towards the top, uh, looking for oxygen. They may not be acting right. They may be quite unhealthy. And the ammonia will also predispose those fish to other diseases like maybe something like ick. And so it's important to make sure that ammonia doesn't build up. Ideally, what you want is zero ammonia in your fish tank. So what happens if the ammonia starts to climb in what we call new tank syndrome? So how do you know if you've got an ammonia spike? One of the things you're gonna to wanna to do if you're keeping fish is get yourself a water testing kit. The vast majority of the problems you're gonna have with your fish come from poor water quality. That could be ammonia, it could be nitrites, which we, which we will discuss at a, in a later video. It could be nitrates that have built up over time. It could be an unusually high or low pH or water hardness problems. So all those things can affect the health of your fish. It could be the temperature. So you're gonna want a good thermometer. So make sure if you're going to be into fish keeping and you're going to keep a fish tank, even one, you should have some ability to monitor water quality. So one of the things you can do, and one of my personal favorite things, and you've seen me do this a number of times to prevent ammonia spikes in new fish tanks, is take a cycled filter and place it in that tank. Now, I use sponge filters, as you can see here. I've got two of them running in this 75 gallon. I have sponge filters in every tank that we have in our fish room. And so I can take this sponge filter and just put it in another tank. Now, I recognize a lot of people can't do that because they don't have a lot of tanks with a lot of sponge filters. The other thing that you can do is take filter media from anywhere, another hang on the back filter, make sure it's a trusted source so you're not introducing disease into the tank, but you can take that filter media, place it in your filter, and it's like an instant cycle. So if you do happen to have an ammonia spike, used filter media is always my number one go-to thing to do, and usually that ammonia spike will come down within about a day or so. So that's probably my favorite thing to do. But again, it's really important that it, wherever you're getting your f used filter media from, you know that that, ta that tank has been disease free. One of the other things that you can do to help protect the fish if there is an ammonia spike is add a little bit of salt, usually about maybe a tablespoon per every five to 10 gallons. Just keep it light. Now, this is not gonna be possible if you've got live plants. Most live plants don't like salt. So again, this is going to be fish specific. But if you add a little bit of salt, and you can add more than that, uh, you're gonna to, to wanna to do your research depending on the fish that you are keeping. But salt will help fit the fish produce more mucus, which will protect uh, the scales, and it will alleviate some of that uncomfortableness. But number one thing is to get that ammonia down. The other thing you can do, and I don't think this works quite as well, at least if there's ammonia already in the tank, is you can take some used substrate from another tank, some gravel or some sand, and that will have beneficial bacteria on it, just as the used filter media will, and that will help jumpstart uh, the nitrogen cycle in your tank. But again, if it's just gravel that you're throwing in the tank, I have found this to be an okay thing to do if you're just adding a fish or two into a tank and you don't have ammonia there to begin with. But if you already have a problem with an ammonia spike, this may not work as well as using some of the used filter media that I've already discussed. The other thing that you're probably gonna to wanna to do is start changing water. Now here you have to be careful because some fish are sensitive to large water changes. And so it's gonna be dependent upon the fish that you have, but you may have to do somewhere between a 30 to 50% water change. And you may have to do that every day, every other day until that ammonia level starts to come down. And that may take a while without the pre-cycled filter media or the pre-cycled substrate. So those are a couple things you can do. If you've got that ammonia spike, 
it's really important that you bring that down as soon as you possibly can because that ammonia will eventually kill fish. It will kill um, invertebrates if we don't get that down quickly. You're also gonna really wanna think about your stocking level, especially at first. If you're setting up a brand new tank, don't pack it full of fish. Usually just a few fish, even with a well-cycled filter, is probably the way to go to allow your tank to acclimate to that new load and then add fish over time. All right, everyone, so I hope you found that helpful. Again, it's just some things that we're doing around here. One, to keep ammonia levels down to zero. It's also something that we're doing to make sure that when we set up a new tank, we don't have ammonia problems to begin with. So in a future video, what we're gonna be talking about is nitrite, which is the next water parameter that we have to worry about after an ammonia spike. So if you like this video, subscribe, share it. We appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next one.